Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Kodpur and I'm really excited to see you here and uh, I know there are a lot of Flutter developers who watch my channel for new content and that's why I'm bringing this new content for you. So if you are a Flutter developer, you are going to enjoy this video. So without further delay, let's start with this new tool which we have found out recently so for example I was building this kind of tool and then I found out that some someone has already built it and this is a very fantastic tool so if you are a flutter developer so for flutter devs this tool is for you and let's see what is the tool so this tool is called monarch now this is a very good tool for people who write UIs using flutter so let's go to their official website and see what this tool offers if you see here then this tool monarchapp.io is the website and this tool is for flutter developers it is um, it is built for making front end a pleasant experience so how does it work let's say if you have a widget in your application and if you you might have a lot of widgets in fact so if you have a specific widget which you want to see how it looks like so you have to open the app go to that particular widget and see that how does it look but there is no other way of you knowing directly that what this widget is uh, like looks like or how does it work or maybe you have a lot of widgets like you have a big team of developers and they want to see that uh, what kind of common widgets you have built so they cannot see it in one place so this tool may be a good choice for that so um, this is the website you can go there and uh, you, this is this is how their desktop app looks like uh, so how to get started let's see first of all that you can click on get started and if you are using mac os you can use it for windows also linux also this is available again this is built using flutter itself uh, so uh, what you have to do you have to download this zip file first of all then you have to unzip it then you have to set your path so that you can get this monarch command okay and then within a project you have to run monarch in it and then you have to run monarch run to see it how does it work okay so let's now jump into the code so this is my flutter looks a wrapper basically i use this wrapper to build uis for flutter um this is an experimental wrapper i personally like it I mean sometimes I just want to build something some sort of UI so first of all I have to check whether I have monarch installed or not so let me increase the font size a little bit so uh, you can see I am on monarch hashtag dev branch something like that so if I write here monarch if I press enter then I can see okay I have monarch installed over here right so this is something good that I have monarch on installed over here now what I'm supposed to do is uh, this project has a lot of things already but I just want to use it for previewing my UIs right uh, so there is something called preview in Jetpack Compose which you can see similarly you have preview in um, Swift UI so but we don't have preview in Flutter because we have hot reload which works very well but for a lot of widgets I mean there could be a better idea so Monarch uh, kind of does that so let's try to do Monarch in it in any of your project and let's run it and it will ask whether you want to provide an email for um, updates or something I'll just skip it because it is optional it will add some dependencies and what kind of dependencies it is adding let me show you that as well in pubspec.yml if you see it has added build runner because that is required for generating some of the content and then we see monarch 3.0.0 this is the developer dependency which you have to add and that's it you don't have to do anything else and uh, one more thing you'll see that there is a new folder apparently which is stories so everything which works under monarch comes under stories right so whatever file you are creating you have to um, append it with underscore stories let's say stories should be at the end of that particular file so you can see there are sample button stories so one is that primary button and one is secondary button one is disabled button and these are the buttons so basically now I can run and see this in action but let's uh, make it a little bit difficult or maybe let's add more things and then uh, uh, then run it so let's create our custom story so I'll create a new file and I can say that uh, my underscore stories dot dot okay so my story is like my app stories whatever you want to call it you can call it and in lib folder you can see I have a login page login page one which is I don't know how it looks so basically I'll have to set it to main dot app uh, main dot dart I mean in the uh, my app or main app whatever app you have and then I can run it and then I can see it I don't want to do that 
and uh, similarly i have onboarding page as well and then i have a travel page so all of the, these things i have right so i have to use this so what i'm going to do in my stories i can first of all import material dot dot because that is pretty much required and then i will have a widget uh, which i can call let's say uh, login page something like that and this can be just like a function and then it will return my login page uh, let's say login page i have one something like this and then i can just import it okay and let's do that right similarly i have an one onboarding page as well so if, uh, below it i can just write that as well onboarding uh, page no onboarding page and just trust me that the kind of thing which you will get out of it that will be very impressive and let's copy this thing and let's paste it here so we have two widgets now and both the widgets we want to see so we have hit here on the screen now what i'm going to do in the terminal itself i am going to say uh, monarch run that's all you have to do so now it is enabling flutter for desktop and it will create the desktop app, app for me for this particular thing it may take few seconds and now you see that we have flutter looks and you can see you have some sample button stories right over here which is by default created by monarch and then you have this my stories as you can see because of this underscore stories and because it's inside the stories folder i can see everything in one place right so i have two basically widgets one is login page and one is onboarding page let's click on login page and you can see my login page over here and i can do like i can change the scale factor right i can do things like that i can slow down animations i can show guidelines i can show baseline uh, highlights repaints uh, highlight oversized images and even i can show performance overlay and even i can launch dev tools from here so that is a good thing and then second thing is that you can add system local so if you have multiple language support you can still do it um, and you can also add themes i'll show you that example as well and then you can choose from a variety of devices from here let's say we switch to s23 ultra then this is how it will look like iphone 14 pro and it's pretty good now let's switch to onboarding page and you can see this is how my onboarding page looks like i don't think this works but yeah this is this is this is how you can do it let's try to add one more thing okay so i'll go back here and let me add travel page okay and uh, this is pretty much good travel page and i can just import it and i'll just do uh, i'll just save it and it will reload all my stories and now you can see we have a travel page over here if i click here you can see this is my travel page and i can play with it right for example now i have to create certain widgets for myself for example let's say in the stories um what i can do i can have my widgets so i can just say my widgets underscore stories so stories is important uh, remember um, that thing is very very important and here what i can do i can let's copy this thing paste it here and uh, okay this is something which we definitely don't need this also and for uh, let's say travel card i have a widget for travel card so if i go back to my travel page here you can see that uh, what i have so you can see i have a travel card widget right so this is something which i can use as well so what i'm going to do uh, i am going to go back to this and i going i am going to add travel card and i will import it and here i can pass the image url so i'll go back to travel page i'll take one of the image url from here let's say we take this particular url we keep it here and i can call it pick and i'll pass it pick and uh, let's say title and subtitle also we can add so for title let's say i am adding monarch itself and for subtitle let's add kodpur something like this so now i want to test it right and as you can see because of lot of changes my monarch uh, is not uh, playing right now so what i can do is i can run monarch again and it will open monarch one more time 
and see what it does to us so it is launching monarch and now you can see that i have my widget stories and there is a travel card so login page looks perfectly fine onboarding page is fine travel page is fine and now i have travel card and here you can see i have this is how my travel card looks like so this is a very good tool in fact um um i mean this i mean this does the job for me at least and then you can also play with multiple things let's say you want to wrap it with a column you want to add uh, some sort of padding and you want to try that how it will look like after that that also i think you can do and you can see now it is under column there is a padding as well here so all these things so, so similarly you can see all these buttons so this is pretty good i personally like it a lot and i'll show you some more things which you can do with monarch so for that we will switch to our another repository which we have uh, this is again open source repository uh, which you will find from the monarch website itself and here what i am going to do i am going to just run monarch to show you what all the kind of things you can do so from here what we are doing so you can see we have booking underscore stories where we have app bar search bar search and choose filter bar and even if you go to let's say booking app theme so you can use this annotation monarch theme and you can add extra themes as well just to see that how these themes will look like in your app so now if you see i have this app bar right and i can see this is how my app bar looks like i can check the theme from here and you can see i can select booking dark as well so the theme changes booking light theme changes and then locale also you can see i have english and um i think it's a spanish so both the options are there and uh, similarly everything else is there we have search bar widgets different different how does they look and obviously you can see if there are problems you can fix them directly and if you can see pro max device has better results calendar is there filters are there so a lot of things you can do using this particular thing in itself so i think this is a pretty good tool to try i personally um, enjoy doing it uh, these days and uh, i hope you will enjoy as well so guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then don't forget to like this video share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more flutter or app related videos see you in the next one